Hi, this is Maxine Schreiber from Simply Decorate. Today we have a special treat. We are doing surface gilding with silver leaf paper. As you can see, all my products are out. I also did some pre-work, which is I put some of the paper on some items. I gilded it in different colors to see what kind of finish I want. Antiqued, a little bit gray, a little bit duller, but all the things are ready to go. I feel secure on what I'm going to do, which will be a mercury finish on the silver paper. One of the designers in the office, Jennifer, gave me a helpful hint about putting the masking tape around the edge, and we use the blue masking tape with the orange interior. She cut the excess of the blue tape around so that we would be able to bend it back as far as possible so it wouldn't get into our workspace. I started applying the quick drying glazing, which takes about an hour and a half to two hours to dry, so that we can then put on the silver leaf paper. Doing one section of the leg at a time, I slightly put on the silver leaf, took off the excess, and then started to smooth it down. After all the silver leaf was completed, we had to gently remove the blue tape so that we can get to the faux finishing. Gently smoothing it down and taking off the access with a very soft chamois cloth which you could buy at any paint store. With a nickel color paint, an oil-based paint, I started putting in some of the little dots and some of the imperfections and the veining that you would find in a more mercury type silver. I'm now ready to do the overglaze which is done with a painting medium and oil paint tubes. So I mix the color that I'm interested in and start getting ready for my work. Since the medium paint slows down the drying process, I have time to apply it, pat it, start getting that kind of overglaze kind of look to it. I achieved the look on all the legs that I wanted and I am now ready to seal it, which I'm going to use an acrylic clear overcoat. I applied three coats, but it takes about an hour, an hour and a half to completely dry, and you need to finely sand it between each coat. The last coat is completely dry, and I again have to sand it to be sure it is completely smooth. The last and final coat is with a butcher block wax. You put it on not too heavily, but be sure that it's covered completely. The whole process has many little steps in between. The very last one is again I have to smooth all the wax off and then give it the final buffing with the chamois cloth. Well I'm finished and I'm excited about that. But the process does take time but it's a beautiful ending. The fabric to the right is a fabric that's going on the Billy Baldwin chairs. And within a week you will see the chair, the base, and everything completed. This is Simply Decorate wishing you a great day. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of this information on how to surface guild all the different things in your home. So have a good time and always be creative.